Hello and welcome back to the next installment of Hypnotizer V4 tutorials. In this section I'm going to talk about outputs and how you can configure them. From your main menu go to outputs and here you'll find three sections. On the left hand side your mixers, on the right hand side your outputs. On this system I've got four outputs connected. By default the system will connect one patch from a single mix running in HD to a single output. Let's try and configure the system to do something else. First of all, you start by pressing configure, which will stop all engines from rendering and display output grids. Now I can go ahead, for example, delete patches, create patches. If I want to create a two mix system, so one mix goes to each output, I add a second mix. I select the mix and the output and hit patch. When I've got a viewport selected, on the mix side, I can then configure how many layers I want. In this example, I will select an 8-layer mix for my, my second mix, and the first one I'm going to choose 4 layers. Once I'm happy with my selection, I click Apply Configuration, and the engine will reboot. Check the configure in the top left-hand corner. While it's still orange, it's loading the engine. When it's done, you can go to your mixes, and here you have your mixes and engines running. The first one a four layer system, the second one has got eight layers. Now you can select media and create your mixes. Okay, let's reset the outputs and go back and do something else. In the next example I'm going to create uh, a widescreen projection screen with a soft edge overlap. So for that I only need a single mix. So first of all I'm going to unpatch my mixes and delete the second mix. The next thing I need to do is tell the mix at what resolution it's going to run. So because it's 2 times HD which is 3840 minus maybe a 10-15% overlap um, I'll set it to about 3600 pixels wide. So I enter 3600 times 180, which gives me a nice wide screen um, uh, sort of mixed canvas. I can then say, okay, I want to have an eight layer mix going on to this. Great, my mix is set. Now I want to patch it to two outputs to the first one and the second one. Currently, both both outputs scan the full input side. Now that is not correct. I want each one just to take one HD slice. So I change here the pixel space for the first viewport and for the second viewport by entering the pixels I want to scan. I drag the second viewport to the right. Voila, I've got my overlaying viewports in the output. I now hit apply config the system will restart and when I'm ready I can go to the mixes and start outputting content. As you can see here I've got my nice widescreen content. My 4K media, if I set it to pixel 1 to 1, will fill the, pixel, the, the space quite nicely. So this was example number 2, how to create a single high resolution mix going onto two projectors. Let's say you want to drive a 4 projector display or what's also commonly used UHD, a 4K projector, something like that. In order to do that, you again go back into configure mode. In this example, I'll unpatch this again. I'll keep my default mix, but I'll up the resolution to UHD 3840 by... 2160. So this is a UHD 4K format. What I now need is, what I want to do now is, each quarter or quad I want to route to an individual HD output. To do that, um, the first one's already set correctly from our previous example. I need to patch the second one and in here again I need to set my resolution for each output.
this output will deliver content to the top right quad of my 4K display. I create the next patch, first select the output, then hit patch. Again, this time I'm going to do it differently because I know it's exactly half width and half height. I can also use the percentage modifier to actually set the output. And I've done a mistake because I've set the position. So double clicking sets it back to the beginning. And of course, I need to enter it here. Great. Three outputs done, one more to go. Great. Now, looking over it, I've got one default mix at 40, 3840 by 2160 4K resolution going to four outputs. Um, and I want eight layers. Probably drop it down to four to save some processing power. Go back to configuring. It's done. Going back to my mixes, I can now see the plane. If you have outputs, you will see one quarter on each output. Let's go and double check what happens in the viewports because each viewport also has controls. So I can clearly see here each output, each viewport selects one quarter. If you now need to do keystoning on each quarter, you can use the keystoning controls on here and correct your projection. Or if you have a soft edge blend, you can also use those controls. Remember, double clicking on your control resets your settings. So I have one more example to go through, and that is what happens if you're pre-programming a show. And what you want to do is you want to program, say, three mixes, but you only have a single monitor available. In this case, what we want to do is we want to create a mix, and it goes to, just unpatch this, we want to have a mix, I'll drop that down to HD, and it goes to a single output. But what happens on this output is I don't want it to take up the full monitor, but only a part of the monitor. So I can resize it either with my mouse and place it, or again, I can use percent to type in how much of the available space I want to use. In this case, I'm again using 50%. So I want to create a second mix and patch that to the same monitor. So it becomes like a multi-viewer where I can preview multiple streams. And a third mix, which again, internally, I want to have at, say, as, as, as a widescreen screen, and again, I want to patch this to the same monitor. What I need to do here is make it also widescreen here, so it shows in the correct aspect ratio. So what I've done now is I've created three mixes, and all of them show on a single display, ideal for pre-programming. Hit apply, wait till the engine has started up, it goes wide, and you can see I've got my three mixes, two 16 by 9 mixes and one extra widescreen mix that I can use to play back my ultra widescreen content. So that was the really quick output tutorial to have a play with it and see how it can uh, all work. Um, one topic that I haven't covered in here is how to add a shape, but that will be a separate tutorial about shape. Thank you for watching and see you soon.